And what about this one? Now let's take one of these now. I'll mean, you know, just put this fun of it for you. Do you think these are in? What? Let's go. We wanted to do that for ages. He just got it in by the skin of his teeth because this is the last howl. How do you make a howl? Well, it starts in here. Every howl starts with somebody having an idea, and when you've got it, then you have to try it out on somebody. You talk to the producer about it. And if you decide it might be a good one, then you're in the business of finding out the facts, and for that, you need researchers. They'll start with the encyclopedia, they go on to the specialist books, they root out the experts, and they find out everything that can be found out about it. And then when you've got the house shaped up, you want to present it. And so then you need a designer. He'll get you the things you need, he'll organize the graphics, he may even design you a model, in which case it'll have to be built by a craftsman and painted by a painter. And so when you have a how, you have to put it onto television. Who's going to do it? Could be me, could be Marion, could be Fred, could be John. Once that's decided, it's time to start building in the studio, and that's a scene crew's job. We need wardrobe and makeup artists, lighting director and electricians, camera crew, sound crew. We need a floor manager to keep us all in order, a PA to time the program, and a vision mixer to cut the pictures. Now we must record the program, and for that we need help too. And finally, to carry the can for the whole thing, a director. And there you are, 33 people, each with their own special skills, all contributing to how. And we hope you'll want to go on finding out how yourself. In the meanwhile, Mr. Dinage, if you please. Right, is everybody ready for the last time? Here's how. How. Well, in case you thought that Marion was confused.